sizes. You can have a haul, uh, haul invoice for the purchase or you can have different invoices for each product order lines. You can have both of these options in Udo. Let's see how this is working. Going to the purchase order. Okay. Okay. Leave this page. Little bit slow. No problem. Okay. Great. A purchase order. For Alan. I'm creating a purchase. For ice cream. Seven new. Next option is iPad mini. I have two products to purchase. Save and confirm order. Okay. Confirming this. Okay. After confirmation, you can receive the product. This will affect the warehouse. I'm just going to the receive the invoice. After warehousing process and going to the invoice, you have only one option saying that you can have the payment as a whole. Look at this. You can pay this as total. Okay. This is one method. So I'm validating this and paying so on. Okay. Go on paying this. So this is finished. This is the purchase order invoice as a whole. Okay. Completed. No difference amount. The whole amount has been paid. In the other case, you need to pay each product line separately. Then Alan. I'm creating another purchase order for Alan for the ice cream and for iMac save and close then I'm just putting this invoice control as uh, purchase order lines saving after this what happens after you confirm this order 39 order number 39 you will get this purchase order line menu is having what purchase order 39 with each Outline separately. If you are paying ice cream only now, then you can take it here, then invoice this. If you are paying only iMac, then you can take it only this and invoice. If you are paying both of this, you can take this both of them and create invoice. I'm just choosing now ice cream invoice. Yes, I really want to generate this invoice, then create. If you have more than one option, you can take it here of other than this you can create the invoice draft invoice what was that wait a minute yes oh, sorry that was selected then validate so then paid this is what happens while invoicing a purchase order so register the payment that's all about purchase order lines and invoicing here you can see all draft invoices generated then uh, the uh, incoming products are s specified here which all products uh, we have, once we have raised a purchase order and confirmed then all the in the products will be incoming and specified here I'll, I'll show you one purchase order creates Alan one purchase order iPad retina save and close while I confirm this it will get a number 40 okay 40 let me see what happened to this 40 that has came here look at this it's an incoming product right one unit is available that will come that's what they are seeing okay then 
the draft invoice is specified here purchase order lines each order line is specifying here incoming shipments related to the warehouse will specify here then product category products everything else is similar these are all about purchase order confirmation and accounting thanks for hearing this video thank you